So the challenges in prostate cancer now is we have options, and that's exciting that we have so many treatment options for patients. We, this ASCO meeting, we haven't heard of new agents being approved, but what we've heard is new agents showing efficacy in indications that weren't already available. Uh, for example, the Titan trial was presented looking at ap apalutamide in the hormone-sensitive metastatic uh, uh, space, and that data is very, very, um, um, shows good promise for options for patients. So now we have multiple treatment options for patients, and now as a medical oncologist, I have to decide and pick and choose between what is the most uh, uh, efficacious. I just finished chairing a talk on the sequencing of M0 or uh, castrate resistant uh, prostate cancer. Um, and the challenge is that, again, we have multiple agents. We have three drugs that show exciting activity. And what the panel did a great job of doing is summarizing there is no right or wrong answer. And oftentimes we will look at uh, side effect profile on how we choose. Um, it was very interesting because it was an interactive based session with the audience and it was a wide, very uh, responses of the audience. So to let you know, we had an international perspective of Fred Saad uh, as well as from Canada as well as Ian Davis from Australia. So we got an interesting perspective of how they handle things differently. I think the big thing going on in prostate cancer, there's probably two areas. One is novel imaging. Uh, novel imaging like PSMA PET scanning as compared to what most clinical trials have looked at as CT scans and bone scans. And it's clear that the evidence now shows that novel imaging, we're detecting metastasis earlier and at places where we didn't know. And the question is, what do we do now when clinical trials had are based upon conventional imaging, now we have new imaging. The other thing that's exciting involving is genomic testing or just looking at what's driving mutations and treatment options available for them. So what treatment sequencing, the updated approaches really is, um, when are you going to use your strategies? Um, and um, the drugs that are approved for non-metastatic or M0 space, castrate resistant, we have, really have three drugs. So this meeting didn't give us any n new agents. They were reported at GUASCO of the data of uh, darolutamide, but it just kind of begs the question which way to go. And the panel had a very um, interesting kind of, there's no right or wrong.